Hi guys, hope you're all okay. This is like the fourth, fifth time I've tried to record this. I keep on rambling on too long and making the video like 18 minutes long, which is just crazy. So, condensed version. Um, I'm at home, I've got both boys here, so apologies if they get distracting in shop. But basically, the video, um, I had an email the other day from a lovely viewer called Kaylee. Hi Kaylee. Um, that said some very beautiful things, very kind things about myself and John and Darwin and Gilly and our channels. Um, and yes, it was very lovely. Um, but she asked some questions and she asked for some advice. And I originally tried to email her back and the email was just getting longer and longer. And so much can get lost in translation. And I was like, oh, I just wish I could talk to her. Um... And this video isn't for everybody, and if it only helps Kaylee, I'm happy. But it may help somebody else, so that's why it's going up. Um, but basically, Kaylee is about to leave secondary school. Um, she's not had her GCSE results, because I don't think they come out to August. Um, but she's been offered a place at college in principal. <coughs> that is Gilly barking. Um, <coughs> Gilly! There's a pussycat outside. Um, basically her parents really want her to go to college, some of her friends are going to college, but some of her friends have decided that they're going to get jobs because they want to earn money. And she's not sure. So she asked, she did state in, in her email that um, John and I, from watching our vlogs, we seem like we have good jobs and she wants to know what we did education wise um, and a bit about our jobs and what we recommend. Unfortunately, John's not here because John is at work. Um, so I'm going to do it by myself. Okay, so education wise, um, I went to school, I did GCSEs, I got nine GCSEs. Um, I had my highest grade was an A star, um, which was in music, religious education, English, and media studies. My lowest grade was a D, which was in textiles because I couldn't make a sewing machine work for the life of me. Um, which I regret now, because now I'm older, I quite like crafty things, and I kind of wish I could, like, knock together a skirt out of a yard of material or whatever. Um, and I went to college. I wasn't sure what I wanted to do. So my first year, I did a vocational course. Um, a vocational course is kind of like, I don't know the technical term, but it's normally like a more work-based qualification. So um, hairdressing, plumbing, mechanic, nail technician. Um, I did an ILEX course, which is kind of, um, it stands for Institute of Legal Executives and you can do the course and then you go through the different levels and you be, become um, a legal secretary or a legal executive. Um, I specialise in youth court justice and criminal law. Um, after a year, I kind of like, yeah, I really like law. I don't know if, if this is the avenue I want to take. So I decided to do A-levels. Kind of wish I did A-levels from the beginning, but it was a journey I had to do for myself and I had to learn from. Um, and later on in life, the qualifications I did as part of my ILEX helped. Um, Sorry, so while doing my ILEX in those specialised topics, um, we also had to do uh, RSA. Like, and there was another one, I can't remember what it was called. We had to learn shorthand and typing and different things. And then there was like an IT qualification in there as well. So they're all really good office skills. Obviously, I don't think anyone does shorthand anymore. Um, but back then, because I'm really old, that's what you have to do. Um, so yes, so I, in my second year of college, I decided I wanted to do A-levels. I did, back then you had to do general studies. Um, so I did general studies, um, law, English literature, um, psychology, and pure maths. Pure maths surprised you, didn't it? It wasn't the topic you thought I would do. <laughs> People are normally surprised. Um, I loved college. I have got friends now that were still my friends then, that I made then. Um, there was a fantastic social life. There's lots of new things you can learn. I kind of 
Um, I went on a short course about massage because the college I went to, you had Wednesday afternoons, you had no lectures, but you had to kind of do something within the college. So like either join a sporting team or something. Um, and I kind of did these all these different short courses. So I did like a massage course. Um, you kind of got a certificate, you didn't get a qualification. But and that's kind of when I first found my love for nail polish because I did a short course in in nail care and it was great. And I made lots of fabulous friends. And yeah, it was fab. Um, after two years of A levels, I did the exams. They were very stressful. Um, very stressful. I got four Bs and Yes, 4Bs and 1C, which is average, I think. I'm not, I'm not sure. I'm not, like, the brain of the world, <laughs> clearly. Um, but, it, you know, they're okay. They're okay grades. Um, with that, I was able to get a place at university. I decided to defer a year because I wanted to go and earn some money. And, you know, obviously, in my brain, I was like, oh, I've worked so hard doing exams for the last however long. I, I want to go out and party with my friends. And uh, yeah, for whatever reason, I never went, went to uni. It kind of, it never happened for me. I kind of got in that trap of enjoying the money and enjoying the social life you get when you still live at home. So you've got no bills to pay, but you've got the money from the job. Um, and I worked in retail and I enjoyed it. I loved, uh, again, a lot of the people I worked with were friends. Um, there was a fabulous social life with, with working in the, the retail that I was working in. Um, the sucky bit. Oh, and, and, <laughs> and back then I was on, I think it was like £5.50 an hour, which was like a quid more than minimum wage. Um, so there was like, I had friends that had left, left uni, um, sorry, left college and gone on to like a placement, like a proper job. Um, <laughs> proper job. Uh, and I was earning more money than them, and I loved it. Downside, had to work Saturdays and Sundays. Um, so yeah, that sucked. Um, and then I got with John, and we wanted to live together, and I kind of didn't want to work weekends anymore, so I was like desperate to find a nine to five. And I applied for a few jobs, and I was told I was overqualified. Um, and it was just an, it was heartbreaking, because I was like, well, why did I go to college if I can't get a job? Um, the council was a, oh, the council um, interviewed me. I think I had two interviews for the same position, um, and then I was told I was overqualified. And it's like, well, you knew my qualifications at the beginning of this process. <laughs> but um, eventually, I got a job. It was entry level. Um, however, because of my qualifications, I moved through the company relatively quickly. Um, in I was at the company for nine years. Um, within that time period, I doubled my salary from where I started to where I finished, um, and I kind of worked my way up the ranks, the old-fashioned way, <laughs> with elbow grease and hard work. Um, if you've been with me for a while, um, and you saw the vlogs from last year, I unfortunately was made redundant because the company went into administration. Um, I was lucky; I was able to get a job relatively quickly because. I used the contacts that I had made with my old job to get my current job. I'm currently a operations manager for a renewables company. It's my understanding that renewable, the renewables field is the biggest employer um, or the highest growing employer or employment field in Europe because obviously everyone's moving into green, greener prospects, you know, greener measures, be that um, recycling or solar panels or what have you. It's a big, it's a big thing because it has to be, you have to, we have to be greener or there won't be a tomorrow type thing. Um, but yes, I work in operations or I'm an operations manager. I really enjoy my job. It can be stressful. It can be overwhelming. You definitely have to be a good multitasker to do what I do. Um, in brief, uh, you kind of dip into every department. So one day you might be doing a claim, the next day you might be dealing with a HR issue, the day after you might be doing tender for, for more jobs. Um, because of my legal background, I do a lot of contracts work. So yeah. It's, it's great for the kind of people that doesn't want every day to be the same, and that's what I have. 
um, it can be very stressful um, and you've got to learn how to deal with that stress and how to kind of turn it off and that's kind of that. Um, Kelly did ask what my salary was. I don't feel comfortable kind of saying that. However, I kind of, I earn over the national average. That's kind of, I'm not bragging. I'm not kind of going, ooh, look how much money I earn. Because, you know, there are people that earn a lot more. Um, but I worked really hard. I kind of did my graft and that's kind of where I am. Um, were, would I recommend you go to college? I personally would. Um, I would recommend you go to the college and you ask to speak to the administration, um, the ad, the admins, no? Admissions team and talk about what course is right for you. You know, not everybody needs to do A-levels. There are so many vocational courses that, you know, my niece, um, one of my nieces, she did the, like, health and beauty and she now works in a fabulous spa and she do these amazing treatments and she's also self-employed, she works from home and you can earn really good money. Um, I also have friends that did it and they did mechanic courses and electrician courses and again, pretty good money. Um, so don't think you have to do A-levels, you don't. Obviously if you want the kind of career where you move into where you need a degree then yeah you're probably going to have to do A-levels. You know, if you think one day you might want to be a doctor, I'm quite sure there are certain A-levels you need to do to get into that degree course. But all in all, you know, you can, there's, there will be something there for you. Even if you want to do an apprenticeship, um, which as far as I'm aware, you don't earn a whole lot of money. Um, basically, you go to college two days a week, you go to work three days a week, or I think some of them you go to college one day a week and you work four days a week, and you get paid. You get paid by the employer, and then you're getting the qualification, but you're also getting the experience, which is really important, which is what I struggled with when I left college, because so I didn't have the experience. Um, so yeah, they, they colleges will help you set those up. I don't want to get any hate off people that didn't go to college. Um, obviously, everyone's decision is is theirs. Um, Kaylee asked me for my opinion. I would recommend everyone do it. Um, just even if you only do it for a year, to see if you like it. Because after you after you go into work and you start earning money, it would be really hard to then go back to education. Especially because after I think it's either eighteen or nineteen, you have to pay for that education. Whereas at 16, you get it for free. Um, John went back to went back into education as an adult. He got his degree after we were married. It's very expensive. <laughs> very expensive, because obviously you have to do access before you can do a degree if you don't have A-levels. Um, yeah, so I don't want anyone to think I'm belittling them if they didn't go to college. Um, it's just I'm giving my honest opinion life will be easier with qualifications behind you. Um, I know, I have very good friends that, without sounding nasty, they work in minimum wage jobs um, and they're very happy and they're, they're in love and their life is great, apart from the fact that because they're in minimum wage jobs and they live in Cornwall, they will never be able to buy a house down here because on minimum wage they will never get a mortgage. Now this seems really materialistic, but if you think one day I want to own, own a house, you... Oh, this is so hard, because I just can see people getting upset by what I'm saying. And I don't want people to get upset. I'm just saying, in my opinion, your life will be easier with qualifications behind you. Um, and now I've rambled on for far too long so I'm gonna stop. Oh, I'm really sorry if I've offended anyone. Um, and Kaylee, I hope you found this helpful. And yeah, okay guys. I'm really worried now, I've really upset people. Um, that wasn't the purpose. The purpose of this video was to help people. Um, bugger it. I hope you've had a good day. 
I hope you've liked my video. Um, and I will talk to you soon about makeup or nail polish or food. Promise. Bye guys.